There's a couple of them. Uh, first of all, involve the user. Brian already mentioned this, but it's very important because they're the ones that are actually going to come out with what they need. And we found that a lot with logistics environment, that we had to ask them what they wanted as opposed to giving them something and basically waiting for them to complain about it didn't do what they wanted it to do. That's the first thing. Next thing is to uh, have some governance. Uh, otherwise, you have well, well, west, especially for our organization, which is really large, and everybody wants to do their own thing. They want to be innovative, however, you want to control that innovation to give a positive ed end point of it. Also, uh, the last one is really make sure you have the right infrastructure to support this. You now, we say I, we want logistics of the flight line and whatever, but Wi Fi doesn't cut it in many cases because it doesn't go far enough. So, we're looking at LTE as to supporting it, and therefore, you have to have the environment to actually do the job you want to do, especially when we start moving content. Mm -hmm. And we want, we want to do things more dynamically. In fact, we've looked at, you know, using hollow lenses and things on the eyes of the maintenance personnel to actually go through videos so they can actually see what they have to do. So okay. we're getting to the point now where we're trying to advance it, but if the infrastructure does not support it, it's going to be very difficult to get there. Yeah.